Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Today, you can buy thousands of products made from stainless steel. But there are many different types of stainless steel. Some products will tell you the type of steel, while others use terms like high quality and durable that have little or no meaning. You buy stainless steel products for their durability and low maintenance. But why do some stainless steel products begin to rust almost immediately after you've purchased them? And if stainless steel is stainless, why do you need polishers and cleaners? In this video, I'm going to discuss what is stainless steel, the types of stainless steel, and how to prevent stainless steel products from staining and corroding. First, what is stainless steel? First, stainless steel is not stain-proof steel. In the aerospace industry, stainless steel is referred to as corrosion-resistant steel. Just like the English word breakfast combines break plus fast, stainless steel combines stain plus less. It means that stainless steel will stain less carbon steel. First, I'll look at what exactly is stainless steel. Stainless steel begins with iron, the most abundant element found on Earth. Iron is what gives rocks its red color. Iron, when exposed to oxygen, begins to corrode through a process called oxidation. Add moisture to the equation and you increase the rate of corrosion. That's why any iron product, like these nails, over time exposed to moisture and oxygen, begin to corrode or what most people refer to as rust. When you take iron and combine it with carbon, you get steel. Steel has between 2 thousandths and 2.1% carbon. In addition to carbon, chromium, magnesium, nickel, tungsten, vanadium, copper, and other elements can be added to steel. But these elements do not make steel stainless. Steel with a carbon content above 2.1% is called cast iron. Stainless steel is more than one type of steel. This knife, which is more than 50 years old, was made from vanadium steel, which is one type of stainless steel. Since vanadium steel has vanadium, does German steel have Germans or Germanium? The two most common consumer alloys in the United States are 300 and 400 series stainless steel. 300 series stainless steel is more corrosion resistant than 400 series, is non-magnetic, but like silver, it can tarnish. Some dishwasher detergents will remove the tarnish. 300 series stainless steel includes 304, which is equivalent to 188, and 316, which is equivalent to 1810. Inox is a brand of 1810 stainless steel that has a minimum chromium content of 10.5%. Non-magnetic 300 series stainless steel is used in many aircraft, spacecraft, and military products. Stainless steel is often designated by two numbers. The first number is how much chromium is in the steel in percent and the second number, the amount of nickel. The higher the nickel content, the more corrosion resistant the stainless steel. When you buy stainless steel products identified by 188 or 1810, products made with 1810 steel will be more corrosion resistant. When it comes to preventing stains and corrosion of stainless steel, the first thing to keep in mind is you're going to get what you pay for. That doesn't mean you have to spend an outlandish amount but low price usually equals low quality steel. Packaging with terms like high quality stainless steel or products marked premium stainless steel or German steel are meaningless. They don't tell you what type of stainless steel was used to make the product. Packaging or products marked with 188 or 1810 tell you the product was made out of non-magnetic 300 series stainless steel. A magnet that adheres or is attracted to a stainless steel product indicates the steel is most likely 400 series. 
400 series is good stainless steel, but not as corrosion resistant as 300 series. Another thing to look for is how the product is made. The food ring on the left is made from solid stainless steel, whereas the food ring on the right is made from formed sheet stainless steel. One edge is rolled to increase strength, but it can allow moisture to be trapped when clean, increasing the probability of corrosion. In addition to the rolled edge, this product also has a welded seam that can also promote corrosion. Although you pay more for the solid food ring, it is more durable. Product reviews for the rolled ring on the right reported corrosion after a few uses. Your dishwasher will expose any flaws in stainless steel quicker than hand washing. The hot, humid atmosphere within a dishwasher will accelerate corrosion. Depending on the detergent you use, a dishwasher can remove tarnish from 300 series stainless steel. Tarnish is not the same as corrosion. Tarnish is a discoloration of the metal, whereas corrosion converts the metal to iron oxide that can eventually make the product useless. To reduce or prevent corrosion and stains, buy 188 or 1810 stainless steel when possible. Hand wash and dry if rust appears after machine washing. Rivets and welds can promote corrosion. And stainless does not mean the product is stain proof. I hope you found this information informative. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.